While Israel continues its routine attacks on Syria, the rate of attacks on U.S. forces in the war-torn country is increasing in what appears to be a response by Damascus and its allies. A new wave of Israeli attacks on Syria began on August 12th. Two Syrian civilians were wounded when an Israeli battle tank targeted an alleged observation post of the Syrian military near the town of El Himidaya in the countryside of El Kanitra in Syria's southern region. El Himidaya is located within the UN-monitored 235-square-kilometer buffer zone in El Kanitra, which was established under the 1974 Separation of Forces Agreement. Late on August 14th, a series of Israeli strikes hit military positions in the southern and western regions of Syria. A number of Israeli fighter jets launched airstrikes at positions in the countryside of the capital city of Damascus from the southeast of the Lebanese capital, Beirut. At around the same time, other fighter jets attacked a position located in the southern outskirts of the coastal city of Tartus from the direction of the Mediterranean Sea. The Israeli strikes claimed the lives of three Syrian service members and wounded three others. Material losses were also reported. As usual, the Arab and Hebrew media claimed that the strikes targeted Iranian weapons shipments, which were on their way to Hezbollah in Lebanon. These claims remain without proof. The response by Damascus and its allies came shortly. Early on August 15th, a number of suicide drones attacked the U.S.-led coalition's garrison in the southeastern Syrian area of El Tamf. One of the drones was shot down by the coalition's air defenses. However, others hit positions of the coalition's proxy, Magawir El Thora. No casualties were reported as a result of the attack. El Taf base provides intelligence support for Israeli fighter jets in their attacks against Iranian targets in Syria. Just a few hours after the drone attack on El Tanf garrison, an attack with rockets targeted the U.S.-led coalition Green Village Base in northeastern Syria. The base is located within El Omar oil fields in the southeastern countryside of Deir Ezzor. The attack didn't cause any casualties. Following the attack, the U.S.-led coalition and its proxy in the northeastern region, the Syrian Democratic Forces, uncovered two light rockets prepared for launch near the Green Village Base. The U.S.-led coalition didn't make any formal accusations. However, both attacks on El Tanf and the Green Village were unofficially blamed on Iranian-backed forces in Syria and Iraq. The attacks were apparently a response to the recent Israeli airstrikes. Damascus and its allies are apparently trying to deter Israel by threatening the U.S.-led coalitional Syria. This tactic prevents Israel from escalating and places more pressure on the U.S.